Well, good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Let's get this lighting right. So Jennifer wanted me to do a little vlogging this morning. So we're trying to get the last of the winter flood pump back. about 12 acres of water to pump back here remaining I should have it done probably in the middle of the night tonight we're at the end of the first week of March everything's early uh, I got about eight acres of pipe out uh, about 48 acres to go so uh, this week is going to be pipe every day all day that's just how it is we got the last little flood down here on the bottom of the marsh 12 acres about is what's left and uh, should have all that water back into the reservoir by tomorrow we got some pipe out already pipes already in I'm hoping that uh, we get some cooler weather so the growing season holds off a little bit but we'll just take it as it comes that's all we can do it is so much later now in the day and I am heading out to my freezer just like two weeks ago or something. Um, like the last video I think I posted, I had gone out to my freezers. I was pulling out meat and fruits and whatever it is I could find, just kind of a pile of food for the week, get some things thawing and then I'm going to take it from there. I don't know what I'm gonna make, we'll see. brought up today is two packages of beef ribeye. I have a container here. This is still from October. Uh, barbecue pork, some venison um, snack sticks, oh, the mini roasts. I brought up some rhubarb, some zucchini, and a bag of sweet potatoes. In the oven, I just put in 
uh, our first freezer meal. <laughs> I put in a pan of beef alatas. And Emily had made some sweet potatoes like this the other day. She said she just put them in the pan, drizzled a little bit of, I think, some olive oil over it, and kind of just pan fried them and salt salted them she said they were very good and so i thought you know what these have been hanging out in the freezer for a while i might as well get rid of those and i am going to quick thaw some of the zucchini here so i can make some muffins right now well i have no idea if this is going to work you guys but i'm making my regular zucchini chocolate chip muffin recipe I have sourdough discard. No, sorry, that one isn't. That one's evaporated milk. <laughs> I have some sourdough discard here. And I started by putting a half cup in. And I'm doubling the recipe because I have two cups of zucchini that I'm thawing. So I put in a half cup of the discard. And then I decreased my flour by a half a cup. So instead of putting in three cups, I just did two and a half cups. I'm keeping everything else the same at this point. I have to put in two eggs now. I'm going to put in a cup of oil. And when it comes for the milk, I'm going to do only one fourth cup of milk, yeah, you know, egg. instead of like doubling it for a half cup because I had that liquid uh, that was incorporated, you know, that was part of the sourdough discard. I'm going to go with the full two tablespoons of lemon juice and the full two teaspoons of vanilla and then put in the zucchini, the shredded zucchini and the chocolate chips. I have some evaporated milk that was opened to make frosting the other day, and I am going to just use that today rather than regular milk. dry to me. I'm going to add in a little bit more evaporated milk. And when I'm doing frozen uh, zucchini, I do drain off a little bit of the water. Oh, it, it's still really, really squishy, but I did drain off some of it. pans sprayed and I'm going to use this awesome muffin or ice cream or muffin scoop whatever it is just a scoop it works perfect for getting the muffins all even well it's going to be interesting to see how this turns out so this is how the beef aladas are looking these were in the oven basically basically straight from frozen are they coming out there, Peter? There you go. Perfect. All right, we like to serve them up with some sour cream, salsa, hot sauce. Um, yeah, these were in from Frozen. I kept the foil on for, oh gosh, quite a while. Quite a while. Probably 45 minutes, and then I took the foil off so that the edges could get kind of that crunchy, that crunchiness, because that's how we tend to like them. This is the bag of sweet potatoes. I just put a little olive oil in here, and then I just kind of kept stirring them around. Um, salted them and I think they taste good I'm not sure if anyone else is going to take those though and then here are the muffins these were in a little bit less time than normal these were only 15 minutes compared to normally they're in for 17 so but they look they look delicious Maria is uh, eager to try one let's see honey can I try to take one out for you let's see if I can get one <laughs> You want this one right here? Mm -hmm. There you go. It's gonna be hot, 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 hot. Good morning. We're gonna keep this video going. I am going to, you know what? I actually folded the load last night. I forgot about that. So I'm gonna get some laundry put away that I did not put away last night. Get another load started here. I'm waiting for Joe to uh, collect laundry. And then I am going to insert a day from a while back. I I think about a week ago or so I filmed and then I completely forgot to keep filming. I was going to film kind of like a weekend in the life or something and I just forgot. I'm gonna put that footage in here right now before we get going on today.
it is five after three at this point. And let me just show you our quick, tiny little grocery haul that we did today at Aldi. Uh, we're having our third week of Friday night fish fry at our house and I needed just a couple things to go with it. So with all of our running around today, we went to visit my mom. Yeah, my uncle showed up. We ended up staying there longer than what we thought we were going to, but here we are, we're home. I picked up some two kinds of lettuce here, one of the bag lettuces as well as some romaine. I'm gonna uh, chop the romaine. I'll mix all of this together uh, to make uh, salad. So I picked up also some tomatoes and cucumbers and some croutons. I couldn't remember how much ranch we had left. I knew the bottle in the fridge was almost empty and I didn't know. So I picked up another one, which is fine. Even if even if we have some at home, it sits on the shelf, great. Uh, and then I did get four gallons of whole milk, two jugs of juice. I thought that this would be a good addition to our fish fry tonight, just in case somebody didn't want milk. And then Emily is going to be bringing, I think it's in cookbook number two, I think. It is the pumpkin crunch cake, and so I picked up some whipped topping. Maybe she'll bring some. I don't know. I know that that goes really well on that. And then I also picked up some apples, and I thought we'd slice apples to go along with our fish fry. So basically, salad, apples, fish, and then dessert. That's, that's going to be it. Very simple, but it'll be very, very tasty. And then some more saltines because, well, that's what Warren uses to bread the fish. So he will whisk no, he doesn't whisk up an egg anymore. He dips the fish into milk, and then he dips it into the cracker crumbs, and then he just fries it in, oh, probably about three-eighths of an inch of oil, I think. Maybe he uses a, maybe a half inch. It's delicious. It's delicious fish. Uh, even though it's fried, it still feels pretty light. I'm carrying down some jars here because... Well, we've been just going through a lot of canned goods lately, and I have really, really been uh, getting into the mood to do some canning. The other night I said to Warren, I said, I don't know, I just wanna can so badly. <laughs> and so I, I have some plans, I've got plans. So if you guys enjoy those canning, uh, canning things, you'll wanna be on the lookout for that one. Yep, cleaning it up. These are some big fillets. Yeah. Must have been the fish that you caught, Peter. <laughs> Taking out that lateral line. Mm -hmm. I was just gonna do it. I don't know if your hands are clean. Can I do it, maybe? Once your hands are clean, sure. So we're just getting ready for week three fish fry. Yep. You said we're gonna do it every single week. Till we run out of fish. I take out the lateral line just because sometimes it imparts a fishier taste. So, and then I had a little belly skin on that one, so I filleted that off. I'm just trying to make them as Perfect. good as I can. Perfect, yep. And then I mentioned before, but what Warren likes to do is dip the fish in milk and then roll them into the saltine crackers. And we're just gonna. And he, just a second, Peter. And he's also found that if he has two bags prepped rather than just one, uh, sometimes if you put two sleeves of crackers into one bag, what happens is it just gets too like wet and it starts to not want to stick to the fish And after you've done you know, just so many. So if he has two bags ready, then once this one is used up or whatever last little bits of crumbs are in there just get almost too wet and packed together, then he moves to another one.
I'm waiting for Warren to come in from come in for lunch right like a couple minutes before he was going to be coming in for lunch um, he got a delivery he ended up having to swap the bucket off of a tractor put the forks on and all of that so it's gonna be a little bit I think before he makes it in for lunch the kids went outside after lunch I said you know what why don't you guys just go outside for about 10 minutes they were running around screaming at each other happy screaming not not mad screaming and I just thought they should go out burn off a little steam then they can come back in and work on their history chapters because you know you need to kind of like settle down to do a history chapter I just washed that quick window there and oh I just swept the garage <laughs> it's pretty much impossible to keep a garage completely clean isn't it That's better. Well, I don't know how this happens, but it's already 3.15 and lots of laundry today. And I also did spend quite a bit of time on the phone with our, we have a health share. That is what we use for health coverage. And it's, it takes some time. It isn't like the bills just kind of naturally get sent or whatever off and insurance pays them and then you get like, and then you pay whatever you have to. It takes some time. You're almost, with a health share, it's almost as if you're the secretary and you are um, like managing the bill and managing getting everything sent where it needs to get sent. But it also is a way for us to have health coverage and get it at a pretty, pretty decent price it's been going up but it still is I guess it is what it is all right let's make a rhubarb custard pie remember in the freezer meal video at one point I broke my tripod where I broke it was at a point where there was like a a brace but I could still kind of balance the brace well then I had kids in the kitchen with me and it got bumped and then it completely busted so yeah I don't have a tripod right now um, but that's okay we are going to you can still watch me roll out crust even without a tripod this was my crust that was left in the freezer. I had popped these into the freezer after making our freezer meals. I didn't use all the crust I made. And since I pulled out that rhubarb yesterday, you know, you guys, I'm really, really trying to work through my freezers and make just, it's just a lot of homemade food when you're working through your freezers. So anyway, when I pulled up that rhubarb, I had given Warren a couple options. Said I could make a rhubarb crunch, which is kind of like, you know, it's like an apple crisp, right? But instead of just having the flour, butter, sugar mixture on top, it has the oatmeal, which a lot of you asked me about that. Said, do you ever make your apple crisp with oatmeal and brown sugar in the topping? And I have. It's just not our favorite. Oh, I should rephrase that. It's not. Some people in the family don't aren't fond of that. They would rather just have it with the flour, butter, and sugar. So I said to Warren, I said, would you like rhubarb crunch made with the oatmeal crunchy topping? Would you like rhubarb bread, rhubarb nut bread, or would you like a rhubarb pie? And I figured he would say pie. <laughs> um, so here we are making a rhubarb pie. This is going to have a lattice crust on it. I'm going to use my my vegetable crinkle cut cutter here. I think that's going to work out pretty well. Well, 
this is where I'm getting my recipe from. Spin you guys around. Uh, the Betty Crocker picture cookbook. This has a publication date of 1950. I bet a lot of you have this cookbook. Custard pies are easy to make. They are similar. You know, a uh, pumpkin pie is a type of custard. I need three eggs. All right, so that was three eggs beat slightly. I still have some evaporated milk here. Well, let's just do this fast. Ah, that's not what we wanted to have happen already. One, two, three. Hey, not bad. Not bad. Not great, but not bad. One thing that I forgot to show you is that I dabbed in a tablespoon of butter here. Uh, the recipe did call for that, and that is one thing that makes grandma's pies always taste so good, like grandma's apple pie always is so good, and that is because grandmas were not afraid of butter. <laughs> and I am a grandma now, and so I get to not be afraid of butter too. Butter in a pie, a fruit pie, just adds a little bit of richness to it. So delicious, so delicious. And this just makes it brown up pretty. And if you really want to, sprinkle a little bit of sugar. That looks really pretty as it bakes. Some people will brush melted butter on top. That is really delicious too. We are going to get this into the oven. 400 degrees, I think, for around 45 minutes. Let me check. And we are going to get that into the oven at 400 degrees for 50 to 60 minutes. I'm going to air on longer just because I do like my crust to get nice and dark, but we'll check it at 50. Wow, this rhubarb custard pie just came out of the oven and can that get any prettier? That is so pretty. I love the little bits of the pink rhubarb sticking out. I actually was surprised at how puffed up it got. So I'll be interested to see if over um, as it cools, if it kind of like sinks back down a little bit. Um, wow, that is so pretty. I just cubed up some potatoes here and I'm gonna get some olive oil over those. along with some fresh cracked pepper. I'm going to put some amazing burger over top of it, this. I have my air fry pan here. Spread those out. I'm going to get these into the air fryer and go 15 minutes. I'll take them out, kind of uh, turn them over, shake them around a little bit, and then put them back in for as long as they need to go. I guess I didn't tell you what I'm making for supper. We're going to do some beef ribeye on the Blackstone along with some fried onions. Uh, I'm going to fry those up on the black stone as well. And then the roasted potatoes. I have a can of pork and beans. And I have salad. So I'll just make like a big, just kind of a, just a lettuce salad basically. Hi, Peter. Hey. Catch any fish? No. What's going on, Joe? Um, nothing. Just... Nothing. I just got the Blackstone cleaned up, and I have the steaks ready to go here. Maria, you, you see Maria, she's uh, earning some of her money. So she does some extra chores around the house. 
Uh, Maria has my phone, honey. She's listening to Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. I wanna... said phone. Mm -hmm. You want to go listen with her? No. So she wanted to earn some extra money. And so I said, well, I'll give you some jobs that are on top of, you know, just like your, your general make your bed, brush your teeth. I don't pay for those kinds of things. Keep your room clean, do the dishes. I don't pay for that kind of thing. But if they do do extra jobs, clean the microwave, wash uh, windows, um, like scrub the entry doors, stuff like that. I give them a little extra money for that kind of thing. already late in the evening and finally <laughs> we are ready to cut the pie this pie is delicious I don't believe that I've ever made a fruit custard pie before and this was just absolutely delicious and thank you all for spending another day with us in our country life see you next time